Okay guys, I got a short video here. This is a 2007 Honda Civic. Uh, the customer complaint was that it was leaking coolant, so for the position and the amount of coolant that was coming, I thought it was the water pump. I started doing the disassembly, I removed the alternator. This is where the water pump is located right here, but then I noticed that it wasn't coming from the uh, hole that usually leaks the water pump when it's bad. So I went ahead and, uh, well, I'll show you this is what I have to remove in order to, to get to there. The alternator, crank pulley, the tensioner, and the pulley for the water pump. So what I noticed is it was coming from there. So I went ahead and, and do a pressure test on the radiator. I have this kit from Matco. I'm gonna set it up again so you guys can see what I did to find out where, where the problem was, which is the cylinder block is cracked. This is a recall on this car. I used the adapter, let me see the number. This is the adapter for that, 10138. You set that up in, in the radiator. And I went ahead and put this pump on it. Uh, Bear you guys with me, I'm you know, holding the camera with my hand. Put them in there, lock it up, start pumping it to make sure at least you got at least, you know, 15 pounds. Sorry for that. I'm gonna have to do this with one hand, so I'm gonna put the, the phone to guys where you can see the leak and I'm gonna pump it. Uh, just bear a little bit with me in there. I'm setting out the pressure to around 15 pounds. 15, 16 pounds, which is where the radiator cap is rated for. Then I'm gonna use my, just a blow gun with air, so I will dry the spot where the coolant is coming with air. Let me get the hose. Connecting the air hose to the gun. As you can see, let me see if I can put some more light here. I'm blowing the air right now, as you can see right there, it gets again wet. It's, being, it's leaking right from the, from the cylinder block. See it right here, this area right here and on this side too. Very good and boom, start leaking again. Right there, you can see it very well. See? So this is a recall and it on the extended a, a, a warranty or the recall for 10 years, unlimited mileage. We already called with the VIN number. What you gotta do is uh, you gotta get the VIN number from the car, call the dealer. The technical service bulletin is uh, 10058. I got it right here. This is the Honda uh, technical service bulletin and as you can see right there uh, let me see the extended period of a time right here see if you read right here 10 year from original date of purchase with no mileage limit so this is exactly what we have right now the car is a 2007 so it's uh all six month six from 2007 so it's well covered, we are recalling and it's going to be covered with this uh, recall. It also has an airbag recall that which will, they will take care of all that when the car gets into the dealer. Alright, so again, this is just a short video to show how you can find out before you go ahead and replace something that doesn't need to be replaced. No matter what, they're going to replace the whole engine. 
so that's it i just want to show you this and uh for all honda civic guys you know with the big number starting with the one ag and the two ag you guys are all covered make sure you if you have any overheating issue or something like that go ahead and call your dealer give your big number you will be covered okay have a good day i hope you guys like the video please subscribe